All right, Bubble of Strikes here. It's finally happening. Well, we're, we're finally finishing up the renowned, the casual renown guides. It's Valdraken casual renown guide time. So let's get into it. We're in the capital. We're in the freaking dragon capital. So first off, <clears throat> oh wrong button. Who are the Valdraken Accord? All right. Oh, that's nice. You get a little bit the renown button here. So centered in their most ancient city, the Valdraken Accord is a unified might of all dragon kind, seeking to protect not only their island home but all of Azeroth. So. All right, who are the Valdraken Accord? So first off, it's a combination of the current Dragonflights. All right. And you'll see most of them represented here. You got Alexstrasza, you got Kalagos, you got Nors Dormu. Uh, the trio of Black Dragons are also a part. Uh, you will actually see them in the next patch up here. As well as Marithra is also a part. Uh, she will also be joining at a future point, uh, confirmed, which is cool, up here. Uh, but it is represented by all them, whether or not they're up here, which is cool. So it's all the dragon flights come together uh, as we return to the Dragon Isles. Now, <clears throat> there's probably some people that are like, yo, how do they get all these other dragons here? So if you didn't uh, realize it from doing the, the story, so all these draconids, they've been here. They've been here. They've been chilling. All right, all the draconids have been here. Um, and you may be thinking like, but why didn't I see them in the intro? Uh, they would have been here. The intro takes place over here, actually. Not in Valdraken. Uh, but yeah, so all the Draconids have been here on the islands, left, all the dragons return after 10,000 uh, 10, years, and uh, that's the rep. So, <clears throat> now how long ago did I get this done? Because I've been showing this, like, but it doesn't even matter, so many people are done now. I ain't even special. <laughs> but when did I get this? This was one of my last ones. It's one of the harder ones to get. Yeah, I got it the 31st. I got it New Year's Eve. That's crazy. That's right. New Year's Eve. Um, it was my last rep. So, I gotta mention it. I love how these reps are so alt-friendly. Getting rep in, this, in, in Dragonflight has been amazing. The alt friendliness of the reps is through the roof. All right. Now, okay, so let's get to the next part. How to unlock Valdraken? Well, as you continue the storyline of the main storyline, okay, on your first tune, because this is only this is only if you're doing it on the first tune. You know, when, once you've unlocked Adventure Mode, you can just start getting rep with. Valdraken, whoever the frick, however you want. But the first time you're going to unlock it is actually when you're doing... <clears throat> you're actually going to start getting rep from them doing the main quest um, for the Obsidian Citadel. Um, but you, you will mainly get to them uh, when you get here into um, Valdrasus. And a lot of their campaign quests here, but you do actually unlock them really early with uh, the Rathian quest line, because, like I mentioned, he is a part of this accord. So let's get to the renowned walkthrough. Let Let's see why you'd want to get Valdrak and Rep, and then I'm going to tell you all the things that you're going to do with Valdrak and Rep. <clears throat> So this is my mage. Uh, I need to. I've been working on the rep on him now. Uh, a lot of my mains are actually almost done with this. Uh, my main has been done, but I'm even starting to get multiple people. This is a 30 renown renown track, like the Tuscar, So it's a long one. 
Um, there's a lot to it, but it's a lot of transmog. Uh, but let's get into it. So, rank one, you unlock it. Bada boom, foul dragon accord. All right. Now two, you unlock Titan relics. These are the turn-in items, like the artifacts, the trophies, and whatnot. Uh, all that goodies. Um, <clears throat> and then you get some supplies. You know, good old dragon dragon supplies here. A micro mode. All right, then we got dragon cooking. Oh my goodness. So you may acquire a tea set toy and six cosmetic d dinner items from your Gosa in the Roasted Ram and Val Dragon. It's a bunch of little transmogs. Uh, this is actually really easy to get on alts. You pick one on one tune, you get an alt to three, you pick another, and then you'll be fully decked out easy peasy. Um, more supplies! Oh my goodness! That's awesome. Now at five, you get more supplies, but this unlocks something good, and this is actually gonna help you get rep. So this is the Siege on Dragon Bane Keep. All right, so this is what happens in the Waking Shore. Uh, if you don't know, this event happens every two hours. Right now it's happening on odd hours. At least for me, East Coast, uh, East Coast time zone, it's one o'clock, three o'clock, four, uh, five o'clock, seven o'clock, nine o'clock, eleven o'clock. You know the deal. Odd hours uh, for East Coast time zone. <sighs> so adjust accordingly. <clears throat> oh, why did I close everything? All right. All right. So that's at Renown Five. All right, and it requires level seventy. Your alts. I'm pretty sure I have tunes do this below level 70. But it requires level 70 to unlock it for your account, I believe. Interesting. Uh, then we got Dragon Isle supplies here. We love those. A gardening tool. So you may acquire five cosmetic gardening tool weapon appearances from Grimpeck in the gardens of unity outside Val Dragon. It's gonna be a little quest. Sends you like over here, hand in cultivation. It's literally this quest actually. Uh, I've gotten all the appearances. So as you can see, he's not giving me nothing. Uh, so that's that quest. All right. All right, so that was right now six. Now we're now in seven. This is the cool stuff. Now we're getting into some cool stuff. So now you may complete dragon riding world quests around the Dragon Isles. Those are the dragon racing world quests. This is account wide. Once you unlock this, all your alts leveling up can fly around races for experience. It's super cool. I love doing that. I love getting experience, knocking out, aiding the accords, flying around doing dragon races. And of course, you get more supplies. Now I'm gonna have to be checking this because this is where I'm gonna get profession stuff and I don't wanna miss professions. Um, any of them here. All right. So we're now in eight. More supplies. Gotta love it. All right. At nine, you get manuscripts and though this is gonna be for the Wilder Drake, which is the, the Wyvern model. Uh, you get plated brow, split head horns, spiked cheek, dark skin pattern. Uh, you get one of these for free and you can buy the others for supplies. If you have a bunch of supplies, might as well buy them. But you can also level up alts. They get the renown, they get a freebie and not spend the supplies. But you get a lot of supplies. As you can see, you get more supplies here. All right, renown 10, Dragon Isle supplies. You get uh, the shoulder uh, transmog appearance for the five flights, uh, the dragon spawn, and then this unlocks your first word of a worthy ally for Val Draken, increasing your rep gained across your account below rank 10 by 100%. It's super nice. Let's show those shoulder mugs. All right, look at these. These are the dragon spawn ones. All right, there's a later one that I have here, which I'll show later. But yeah, the dragon spawn ones. 
nice simple shoulder mog. You know, more mogs always good. You ain't gonna hear me complaining. Now, to Renown 11, this is when we start getting professional rewards, so I'm gonna go over this. So, you get bonus supplies now. You gain 25% chance to get additional Dragon Isle supplies from supply-laden humanoids. So, there's mobs that have a little buff on them that says they're full of supplies. You kill them, you get more. Now, this gives you a bonus on that, if you didn't know. Uh, you get your first... Uh, profession recipe here we got an enchanting one here uh formula enchant cloak homeward speed formula enchant boots watchers loam which i think the boot one boot one is good uh and then dragon isle supplies at 11 you also get an engineering recipe which i think is for the fireworks but i may be wrong all right now, Renown 12, you unlock the quest line, the Silver Purpose. I'm not gonna describe what this quest line is, spoilers, but there's, you probably already know by now. But this quest line gets you a whole Renown as a reward at the end. So once you get to 12, if you do this quest line, you will be Renown 13. Also, alt characters doing this with the bonus it can get tripled and doubled. FYI, you also get more supplies, which is always good. We love supplies. Now, at rank renowned 13, you get Titan themed weaponry from Soratus. Alright, he's over here somewhere. Uh, the quest will pop up um, when you're over there. And he has some Titan theme relics. It, they have the look of... Uh, I can't even... It's kind of like the questing gear. Um, but a different color. Um, now, <clears throat> at Valdraken, Renown 14. Of course, since it's a 14 or a 24, you're going to be getting 5 Crafter's Knowledge. It's five for crafting professions, 10 for gathering. That's what it is. Or it's five, five, and then it's five, 10. Or it may just be five across the board. I, I At this point, I've gotten this so many times, but I think it's just five. Playing for just five. If you got more, then cool. Um, so you get five crafters knowledge here. And then dragon supplies. Also, at Renown 14, as you can see, you get Tailoring. Uh, this gets you to Slippers and the Sash. Um, for Engineer, or no, 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 no. For Blacksmithing. What do you get here from Blacksmithing? You are going to get a recipe for Blacksmithing here. I can't actually remember it, what it is because I know the profession tools are later. I think it's I think it's a weapon I think it's a weapon um, and also all right so yeah so blacksmithing recipe tailoring recipe and then the crafters knowledge all right so in renown 15 we get new Drake wa uh, watcher manuscripts uh, including for your wilder drake uh, hook horns scaled patterns spear tail white hair four horn chin spike legs some of these are new so if you've already got some from the vendor before you may want to go back and see if you can buy new ones some of these were added later <clears throat> and then more dragon isle supplies also at renowned 15 inscription um the inscription profession, if you're a scribe, there is a recipe from here. It, what is it? I think it's, it's not the, the contract, um, but you do get something here. Um, so I need to mention that. So if you're a scribe at 15, you get an item. I'm not a scribe on this tune, so I can't actually see it. Um, 
All right, then at Renown 16, this is your first equipment piece. It's a 376. You can buy this right at, uh, at the as soon as you get 70. Um, but you get better stuff now, so it's not as great. But this used to be pretty good gear, and say you don't have drops and you're a fresh 70, you don't have the Forbidden Reach stuff, this is still pretty good if you have the red on, rep on your alts. All right. And then you're moving on to Renown 17. This is when you unlock Draconid Helms. You may acquire five cosmetic Draconid themed Helms. So let's take a quick peek of those. These are them. As you can see, I got all the different colors because this is a very low rep requirement. I've managed to get it on multiple alts. And all you gotta do is just walk over to the armor smith right over there at the blacksmith, and he gives you the helm. Easy peasy. It's nice. All right, now at Renown 18. So this is where, where we're gonna get some. No, it's 19. It's next one. So at rank 18, you get a pet. A choice between two pets. Again, if you get an alt up to 18, they can pick the other pet. You don't even have to waste the resources to buy the pet on the vendor. Now at Renown 19, this is when you get your profession um, equipment recipes. So for tailors, you get Wilder, Wilder Cloth Gardening Hat, Wilder Cloth Enchanting Hat, Wilder Cloth Alchemist Robes. Um, for Blacksmith, um, You get the some of the professional equipment for blacksmiths. I think it's the, it's not the toolbox or the hammer, uh, but you get, you get blacksmithing, uh, crafting uh, equipment uh, recipes. So those are always good. Renown 19 is a good one to get to. I need to get there on this tailor so I can get those recipes because this is my big tailor. So I'm going to start trying to funnel Valdraken rep. Also, when you are Renown 19, you unlock the quest line Garden of Secrets. This is another campaign quest line. At the end of this, you get a full Renown point of rep. So that's 2,500 rep. Uh, it does get doubled and triple on alts. Once you unlock these campaign quests on your main, right? As you can see, I don't have it unlocked on my alt, right? But I could go do the quest line um, if my alt was 70. If my mage was 70, I can go do these campaign quests and get the renown, whether or not I have the rep yet on that character. Which is super nice. I really like the alt friendliness of the expansion. I can't talk about it enough. Um, now, moving on. Oh, that's also where you get the engineering profession equipment recipes. Again, I can't tell you exactly which one. I definitely think it's the, a lot of the engineering specific ones for themselves they get from here. Because I remember rushing here on my main to try to get those. Um, so, Renown 19 is profession equipment for professions, all right? Now, Renown 20, you get civilian clo uh, clothes, uh, transmog, I'll show those off, those are pretty cool, and Word of a Worthy Ally 2, which increases rep below rank 10 to 200%, and below rank 20 to 100%. So now you're gonna be getting double the rep uh, from 10 to 20 and triple the rep from 1 to 10 which is always great it's account wide it's amazing now let's look at the transmog so you probably seen this um, you can see these in your journal it's just these sets as you can see I got a whole bunch because I got a whole bunch of uh, tunes up I haven't been spending the resources on it you can buy all of them uh, or you can just get more characters to rep and get them yourself. The only one I'm missing is blue. So I know what I'm going to get on him. All right, so now we're moving on to Renown 21. All right, we've got another, nothing here on this sheet. <sighs> oh, this is the good one. So this Drake Watcher manuscript unlocks 
bronze scales for your other drakes. So it's, uh, you can get the bronze uh, Velosa Drake, bronze Proto Drake, and bronze Highland Drake, which I like the bronze Highland Drake. You get the full bronze dragon feel for that, so I like that. Uh, all right, then we're moving on to Renown 22. This is when you get your second equipment. So this is a 389 piece, it's a helmet. It's good if you don't have Forbidden Reach gear, uh, but that gear will outpace this and it's, and that gear is tier convertible. This gear does not convert to tier. You can't even resell it. Once you buy it, you bought it. So that's not so useful anymore, but it was cool while it lasted. All right, now Renown 23, this is when hunters get tame lesser dragonkin. I wanna say that right off the start. Also, as you can see here, we get a tailoring recipe. This is the Chrono Cloth Reagent Bag, uh, which is the big giant reagent bag, which I'm shooting for. I wanna get that and be able to make that for myself. Also, uh, this is when it, uh, scribes get uh, the contract Valdraken Accord. That's where you get the bonus rep, so that's good. And then you also get the Valdraken Tabard at Renown 23, uh, which is pretty cool looking. All right, now Renown 24, you get uh, this bonus supply, so you get 25% chance to get additional Dragon Isle supplies from supplied laden humanoids for a total of 50%. And then this is when you get your second set of Crafter's Knowledge, which is always nice. And the professions that you get that for are Alchemist, Blacksmith, Engineering, Inscription, Mining, and Tailoring. I don't think I mentioned the profession specifically back at the first one. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, again, one more time. It's Alchemy, Blacksmithing, Engineering, Inscription, Mining, and Tailoring. All right. That's Valdraken. All right, now, Renown 25. This is when you get torches, tomes, and bottles. So there's a whole bunch of various cosmetic weapon appearance themed for civilian items. I've been getting a few of them. Uh, there's books, like it says, little bottles, and then there's like magical torches, which is pretty cool. I definitely want to be getting more of those and all of those. I'm definitely trying to get the, the freebies versus having to pay materials for them. All right. All right. Next one, 26, Drake Watcher Manuscripts. So at Renown 26, you get one of the coolest Drake Watcher Manuscripts that you can start to buy. And these are, you uh, well, and it also unlocks the ability to do this. So you may apply armor to your Drake, Dragon Isles Drakes. Each color of armor must be unlocked separately. You may also acquire four new Drake Watcher manuscripts to provide silver and purple armor to your Windburn Drake, Proto Drake, or Veloci Drake, Proto Drake, Highland Drake, or Wilder Drake. So this is armor for your Drakes. You get one set of colors to start with. You can buy more. And then there's other colors and stuff that you, uh, some come from crafting. A lot of them come from crafting as well. And then some come from a uh, couple of the, uh, the Obsidian Throne Rep. Now, at Renown 27. All right, the last one's 28. Okay. So at Renown 27, you get the banner toys. Um, so let me show you those real quick. So that's just a toy. So I've only gotten one so far, and there's a few. As you can see, Bronze Dragon, Blue Dragon, Black Dragon, and uh, it's just a little banner. Uh, it's their symbol. Uh, essentially the ones draped over uh, up top there. Uh, so it's just a bunch of toys. Uh, it's good to add to your toy collection, you know, if you're a toy collector. You can buy them separately or earn the freebies. Just like I've been talking about the whole time. Now at Renown 28, we're gonna get a few more recipes. So for tailoring, I can show you exactly what it is. It's a toy cushion of time travel. It's a, another toy. 
the tailors can make. And for scribes, you get some kind of illusion paper. Uh, but it, it is another recipe. Uh, um, it's, it's some kind of illusion parchment. That's what I read, and that's all I remember. And then also for everybody else, um, at Renown 28, you get elaborate dragon shoulders. So those were the other shoulders I was showing you. Um, over here, so these, the jeweled shoulders. Uh, you can buy them separately. Uh, you get the one free, and you can buy them separately. They look pretty cool. They're essentially a fancier version of the earlier shoulders. Uh, now on to Renown 29. This is Dragon Repery, uh, Weaponry. You may acquire cosmetic dragon themed weapon appearance from Weaponsmith Korov. These are different colors of some of the uh, dragon themed questing uh, equipment. It's always good. I love transmog. I love more transmog. Transmog's great. All right. Remember, first one's free. You have to buy the rest. If you get alts up, they get more freebies. Yada yada yada. All right. Now, renowned thirty. This is when you get your primal infusion, which allows you to upgrade crafting items. And the base level is three ninety five. They can go all the way up to four oh five, which is good for alts this season. Um. I don't know, I think the Niffin just give us one piece next season, but this has been really good for this season. I definitely want to have four or five pieces on my alts if I can. Uh, so that's always good if you got a bunch of crafters. And it's good for leveling the professions up if you're working on that. Now, at Renown 30, you also get the title, Ally of Dragons, and most likely this will be your final rep. And uh, if you've been watching the whole time, this should be your final rep. I'm finally getting around it, and you'll get popular around the islands and be sitting happy. All right, sitting happy. Uh, but that's been the Valdraken uh, Renown uh, breakdown. So let me enlarge myself real quick. So now, how to get Valdraken rep? What are my techniques? All right. So first off, like I've said in every video, one of the first things you want to complete if you're trying to get your renown up is Lore Master of the Dragon Isles. Complete all these quests. Do all the quests. That will get you so much rep with all the factions. And make sure you clean up all the little side quests because Valdraken ones can be kind of all over the place. Dragon scale is really all over the place, but Valdraken ones are concentrated here and there, and there are a few ones scattered about. All right. Then there's the big campaign quests you go as you get along. Each one of those will give you a whole renown. Um, now, as you saw, as you unlock stuff, you unlock uh, new world quests, and of course, there's Valdraken world quests all around. Uh, remember, uh, if you here, let me show this. A micro now. So if you come over here in your map and you click this little button, you can set it to make all the Valdraken world quests uh, glow green or glow blue, so you can see where they're at on your map. It's pretty nifty and something to do. Now. Speaking of, so at Renown level 7 it was, uh, you unlock the, the Flying World Quest, the Dragon Racing World Quest. Those are a good source of gold. Um, they only get you 50 rep though. They only get you 50 rep. Valdraken rep is kind of slow, uh, but World Quest give you rep. Dragon Racing World Quests give you, uh, World Quest give you good rep. Another area that will give you a lot of rep with Valdraken is the Siege of Dragon Bane Keep. That gives you Valdraken rep. The little cache also drops artifacts for the Dragon Scale. Um, there's also the relics you unlock. Um, magical chests usually have relics. Uh, I think dirt can have Titan relics. But Titan relics are hard to come by. They're not as hard to come by as the Tuskar totems. 
but they are not as prevalent as artifacts or trophies. Uh, but you can turn those in for rep. Um, the Obsidian Throne World Quests give Valdraken rep. The Obsidian Throne Turn-Ins and Daily Quests also give Valdraken rep. Um, the first key you turn in gets you 250 rep. Every extra key is 50 rep. So you can grind up billion keys and get a ton of rep with Valdraken if you want as well. Um, Alright, so that's pretty much it on this list. But since this rep video is coming out so late, I want to talk about the fancy stuff you can do now that 10.1.7 is out. So, um, when you're level 70 and you've unlocked the Forbidden Reach, you unlock a uh, set of envoys over here. And when you click on the table, you can activate a rep bonus as well as uh, rotating three day so it's like bi-weekly uh, quest that you can do on the Forbidden Reach, which gives you, uh, if you picked Valdraken for the day, it gives you 10% bonus rep, which say you had the 10% bonus rep, right? You went and did all the campaign quests, all those 2,500 rep quests would give you 10% bonus. That's very good. All right, the 10% bonus does work across the board once you activate it. So that you get the, the you pick Valdraken, you get the 10% bonus, then you turn in a ton of Valdraken stuff. You get 10% bonus. All right, so that's something to think about and there are extra quests there. And uh, I may or may not have mentioned it in other videos, but there's always the weekly quest in Valdraken where you can pick the Valdraken token, get extra rep there. There's Aiding the Accord, which gives you rep. Uh, the profession quests in here actually give you Valdraken rep. You can now turn Foci, all right? You can turn in the dungeon drops and extra arcane foci and concentrated arcane foci to Asli. Here, you can turn it into her and she will give you a choice between rep tokens. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of new ways to get Valdraken rep. It's a lot easier to get from the past. Think about using the Forbidden Reach bonus for all the other reps, all the old videos. You know, I can't, I'm not going to retroactively add that now, but 10% bonus rep is good. You pick the rep you want to get for the day. Like, I never did Azure Span. Let me get the Tuscar bonus, and I'm going to do all the Tuscar quests. Oh man, I haven't done these campaign quests. Let me get the Valdraken rep bonus for today and do the Valdraken uh, campaign quests. Um... Same thing for Dragon Scale, same thing for Maruk. Like, yo, I'm gonna grind hunts today. Today's the day I'm gonna grind grand hunts. Get the Maruk buff, go over here, grind out them hunts, you know? So, that's been the Valdraken Renown Casual Guide. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Thanks for, for sticking through. Be prepared for a Niffin Guide. Hopefully the Niffin Guide won't take as long into 10.1. I just gotta grind the rep, and once I've grinded the rep, I will tell you how I did it, and about them, and how to get that rep yourself. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye